So, I had planned to do two Dawn Chorus walks this year at the start of May. Unfortunately, we've had to cancel those events and I won't be meeting some of you lovely people to inspire you about the Dawn Chorus. But I'm determined to share my passion um, for all things to do with birds and especially bird songs um, with the people of Cheshire and hopefully beyond as well. So what we're going to do is a series of videos that we can bring to you through social media where I can help you to understand some of the bird songs that you can hear in your garden. We'll end this with a county-wide event on International Dawn Chorus Day where we can all sit in our own gardens and enjoy the natural wonder that is the Dawn Chorus. So keep an eye out on our social media channels um, and our YouTube channel as well and hopefully we can all stay connected at least electronically if not physically. So in future videos we'll look at individual species and kind of what separates their songs from one another. Um, but for this, this video we'll be looking at how we begin to separate those songs. So there's a few things you need to learn about bird song um, to be able to learn it, understand it and remember it. And the first thing is that bird song is basically like music. It's open to interpretation by each and every single one of us in completely different ways. So what I'll do through these videos is explain how I remember the songs and then it's up to you to listen to the bird song in the background um, and interpret that in your own way into something that you can remember. There's a few things that can help you to do this. Um, the first is the pitch of the song. So is it high pitched or is it quite low pitched? So think of songs like Flight of the Bumblebee. Really high pitched song compared to In the Hall of the Mountain King, for example. Really low song. Um, now if you think about those songs as well, think about the pace within them. Flight of the Bumblebee, really fast paced, very small gap between each note, um, compared to the start at least of In the Hall of the Mountain King. Um, plenty of space between those notes, those notes stretched out as well, gives the song a much slower pace. So pitch and pace are two of the most important things to think about when you're trying to remember bird song. The third thing to think about is the style of the song. Is it repetitive? Is it more kind of free-flowing? Um, so that can kind of really separate out some of the songs and things like, is it rhythmic? Or is it a little bit more random? Um, again, another good diagnostic for separating out several species. So if you keep those things in mind as we go through the, the, the series of videos, hopefully you can learn a little bit more about the beers on your doorstep. 